Hi guys, so as promised, let's try and uh, do the black. It's hard work with the camera in front of it, but we'll give it a go. But first of all, I've uh, primed this black, or you can prime it grey, because you're going to paint it black anyway. So I've already gone ahead and painted it over over everything with Minotaur Raven Black. You do a whole base coat of Minotaur Raven Black. Then we're going to start highlighting with Fordrill Corvus Black which isn't a true black, it's more of a charcoal with a blue tint to it, sort of thing. Then, next highlight's going to be uh, Vallejo Model uh, Engine Grey, uh, numbers 71048. And then, Com Art Opaque White. It actually says it's opaque, but it's, it's not really, it's a bit translucent. And at the end, we're going to satin varnish it. So, let's get started. I'll put some Corvus Black in my airbrush and we'll uh, get started so what we're gonna what, what we're gonna do with this we're gonna hit the high spot so where the where I say the, the lights gonna hit it so top of the ridges so top of the hand at the back here at the top top of here top of the so all the all the pointy out raised edges I suppose you'd say but what you're gonna do with the chorus black we're gonna hit it more and then with each highlight we're going to go smaller and smaller so we'll start with a colourless black first so here we go so here we go because we'll try and do this through a camera <laughs> so so what we're going to do we're going to hit it here the, so really, you just uh, you just you're leaving some of the black underneath it, but you're hitting most of the model with this, really. As you can see, so you hit here, the the, the top of the hand, top of the shoulder, top of here, top of the at the back, we'll go on here, top of the engine parts, his elbow, back of his hand, uh, on here we'll do his ass plate, as we call it. <laughs> Top of his leg, bottom of his shoes, his hands. We'll just go up, hit it from the top like this, so you get that. Doesn't look like there's a big difference at the moment. Uh, lights a bit pants, but there you go. So that's as far as we got. So I'll come back in a minute and we'll do the next highlight. Right. So as you can see, we've got this stage now. So we're going to be a bit more precise with our next highlight, which is Vallejo Modeler Engine Grey. So I'll put a bit of this in my airbrush. Just on the back of my hand. Yeah. So with this one, you're going to you're going to be a bit more precise. So you want to blow on the legs. You want to hit the top of this ridge, but you want to blow some halfway down the front of his leg, front of his shoes. A little bit at the top here, so where you where the lighter hit it more. So let's do his bottom of his shoes like this, top of his leg. So aim your airbrush down, so you're only hitting this, and it'll blow onto the leg a little bit like this. Top of his hand here, his, uh, top of this, we just blow it onto the onto his chest plate, right at the ridge of there. So this bit you want to hit this part going down. So the back of his hand like this. So like that. So the back of it you want to hit just the top of the plate at the front. Top of his engine stacks at the front. Elbow plate. And then you want to blow it a little bit at the top of his legs. This underbad shoulder pad does show, so you blow a bit there and there. So you've got to that stage then. We'll blow a bit on this here as well. So you've got highlighted to that stage. So I will change colours and I will come back and we'll do the final highlight. Right, so we've got to this stage, so now you're going to have to be even more precise with the white. Uh, like this is sort of ghosting the white on. So you'll see me pulse my airbrush, but I'll pull my trigger back. So I'll put some white in my airbrush and I'll show you what I mean. Right, here we go. Blow that 
the back of my hand. So it's working. Right, here we go. So this one's the same. So you want to hit here, but you don't want to blow as far down as the grey. So you want to leave some black, some grey, and a little bit of white at the top. So we'll hit the front of his toes. As you see my finger on the trigger, I'll, I'll just sort of ghost it on in little things so I'm happy. So that's that bit. Same again. Top of his knees. So you get that can transition. Top of this here, so you're going to blow the top of here and slightly blow it onto the front. Oh, went a bit nuts. Oh well, it's live. <laughs> so here, rid of his fingers. Top of that plate, same again here, a little bit there. It looks a bit grey at the minute, but we'll sort that out in a second. So, tip of that, tip of this. Back of his hand. So, we've got it, it looks a bit greyish at the minute, but we'll sort that out with uh, the varnish in a minute. So. So I will change colours again. Well, check, put, check, take this clean your brush and we'll varnish it and I'll show you the difference back in a sec. Why I made a mistake at the front though, it's easy, I'll show you to fix that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blow a bit of Corvus Black back in. And you need a pot of Corvus Black. There we go. Right. So all we're going to do, if you go too nuts with the white or the other highlights, you can just go back in. So we're just going to hit it here. So, make sure it's looking. If you ghost it on, you can tone down the transition. As you can see, it's toned it down again. So if you make a mistake, it's easy, you can go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, while you see you play it. You're not going to get this first time, so just keep playing with it and eventually you'll get it. So I'll get the varnish and mirror brush now and then we'll do the next step. Guys, last step, we're going to varnish, varnish it. So I always use satin varnish from Liquitex, red label, great stuff. Uh, so it's looking a bit grey at the minute, more grey than it normally, normally is, so if you look. As soon as we hit it, hit it with the varnish, it'll knock it back. And then when you add the gold to the trim and all that, it knocks it back to black-ish, should I say. So, we'll varnish this bad boy. So we've varnished it, I will come back in a minute and show you how it looks at the end. Right guys, the uh, varnish is not quite dry but as you can see there is colour transitions going through it. It's hard to see in this light really. Uh, but the varnish gives you, when people say it looks uh, metallic, it's the varnish that makes it look non-metallic metal I suppose a little bit. It's not a true non-metallic metal but, but once you add the gold, it knocks it all back to black you get that effect so I will do a video on how I do the gold trim and stuff uh, I'm going to try and do these videos once a week once a fortnight we'll see how I go fitting it in between other things so I hope this helps guys uh, another quick video if you want any if you want if you need anything answering or you want me to do a tutorial on something else just give me a shout in the comments thanks again guys I'll see you later bye